Uh, well, first off, my grandfather was actually a farmer, and he would be applauding. I mean, unfortunately, he passed, but he'd be very grateful for the comment about GMO. Yeah. Where I'm from the global south, where without them, people would be, there would be starvation would be a lot more prevalent in certain areas. Right. Um, I'm here to ask you about uh, election monitoring. Yes. And specifically, in 2004, you came to Venezuela, where I'm from, to monitor the election. Uh, you left within 24 hours of the election results having been given. It was a disaster for Venezuela. We've lived with the fact that you called it the, most, the best electoral system in the world. Since then, uh, the government, which is, can only be called dictatorial, has pointed to that electoral system every time and said, President Carter called it the best in the world. And with that, they have justified what now has been, since then, 10 years of a country with no rule of law, lack of civil liberties, more dead from crime than uh, have been in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict since 48, yet it's not a big issue. Um, but what do you have to say to those of us who put our trust in you, and yet in that election, you left within 24 hours. I understand it was Mrs. Carter's birthday, but it was a disaster for us. Well, the Carter Center has uh, been in the leadership role in developing the techniques and systems for monitoring elections. And we still are in the leadership role in that on a worldwide basis. The Carter Center has now finished monitoring very closely 98 different elections. And four of them were in Venezuela. And I've, I have been there for three of those. And in my opinion, all four of those accurately represented the will of the people who voted. Let me go further. Venezuela does have the best electoral system on earth as far as the voting procedure is concerned. Everybody goes in and you touch a, sc a, a screen and, and you vote automatically. And then in addition to that, you fill out a, a paper ballot and you put the paper ballot after you make sure it's the same as the screen in the, in the box. And then those paper ballots are, are, can be counted later on, and they are counted in Venezuela, to make sure that the uh, representative sample matches the screen so that the voting procedure in Venezuela is very good. But th there are some very serious problems with the Venezuelan election, which we point out very clearly. One is that the incumbent government always uses the power of the government for their own advantage. Uh, the last two elections, Venezuela has not let the Carter Center come in. They have, they have refused to let us come in and monitor the election. So I don't think there's any doubt that what we have reported on every election that we've monitored in Venezuela has been 100% correct. Subject, sir. I understand and, and that. a good Sorry. technical you know, analysis of it has shown different. What we do ask is if you, uh, in March, you declared that you may be coming back to Venezuela. Uh, many of us would respectfully ask you not to come. Well, if, if I get ready to uh, go to Venezuela, I, I, I'll go. Uh, uh,